This city's warped. The Eshers are running wild. The Goliaths have gone underground. And something much worse is on the rise. It's damn good for business. Don't take it personally, friend. There are only three things I trust in this life. The money, my Mastiff, and my auto gun. When it comes to hunting marks in the Hive City, there's only one thing you need to know. The house always wins. There it is, the first trailer slash gameplay of the new upcoming game, Necromunda Hired Gun. Now before we get into the trailer breakdown, I would like to thank Focus Interactive for sending me the trailer and a bunch of information regarding the game. Also, I can 100% confirm that this game will be released June the 1st on PC, PlayStation and Xbox. So Escher and Goliath Gang seem to be the main NPCs as they were mentioned and shown off the most. They will probably be the main bulk of enemies that will be taking down through our purge of Necromunda. But the trailer does hint at other gangs. We can see members of the Orlok Gang getting blown away by the Bowie Hunter. So maybe most of the gangs that are available on the tabletop will make some kind of appearance. It would be a waste if they didn't as all the gangs in Necromunda have a fantastic style and certain look that separates them. Some of the bigger units that stood out for me were the Ogrim and the Ambot. I actually thought the Ambot was a Leviathan when I first did my announcement of this game because the screenshots were so small. Um, we see the Ogrim charging down the Bounty Hunter as he unleashes his auto gun into it as well as the Ambot. I would probably argue that these are more boss type units that will require bigger firepower to bring them down. And while we bring death and destruction to those who stand against us, it has been confirmed that we will have a companion along the way. A Cyber Mastiff will sniff out and eliminate enemies for you. As you can see from the image in the background, you probably don't want to get on the wrong side of those jaws. It looks very, very painful. Um, also, I don't know about you, but does this game give like a kind of Cal Jericho vibe? I'm sure he also had a Cyber Mastiff in his novels. In the trailer, it states something much worse is on the rise, and we get a flash of an image. First, I thought this was a Sister of Battle because of the white hair, but that wouldn't make sense as Sisters of Battle wouldn't be there to cause this type of mayhem. Now, if you look at the servo skull in the background, then it has an Escher-themed haircut, which makes me think that maybe this character is one of the bigger bounties that you'll be hunting in Necromunda. I think the underlying story may revolve around some type of tech heresy or war, because we know Necromunda has some of those type of secrets. Um, we do see this Mechanicum guy. This is why it brings me to the conclusion something techy might be involved. He sat down with a bunch of servo surrounding him. I'm not too sure if he's actually part of that machine like he's wielded into it or not but we definitely do see bones on the floor to the left and right of him and we all know that bones equal heretic shenanigans also is that a gene stealer's skull on his staff could we actually stumble across like gene stealer cults in the deepest parts of necromunda that would be absolutely amazing like you're fighting these escher gangs and you know all lot gangs and you go into like the deepest and dankest bits and there's a bloody like full gene stealer cultist all bowing down to like the ford armed emperor and stuff like that i think that would be incredible like a nice little um, easter egg to find we also get to see some of the movement mechanics in action we have a grapple that makes us ascend and get above your enemy is. We also see a clip of our bounty hunter as he runs across the wall, unloading his revolver into the enemies. That is all a part of this augmented body that he has that makes him bigger, faster, stronger than anyone else in Necromunda. Well, probably not Space Marines because there is Space Marines in Necromunda because we do have an Imperial Fist 
Chapel. This is where the Imperial Fists recruit from. Well, it's one of the worlds that the Imperial Fists recruit from. I'm not saying that the Imperial Fists are going to show up in this game, but there's definitely a Space Marine on Necromunda. Since this game is being made by the same developers that made Deathwing, one of the things that stood out for me is how beautiful that game's environments were. To this day, I haven't seen a 40k environment designed better. And from the looks of this trailer, it seems like they're going to be smashing it out of the park once again, I keep saying this, but I really wish the developers added a mode with no enemies so I can just explore the ships in Deathwing and translate like all the binary coding and just walk around unimpeded because that is how beautiful the environments were that they designed. So on the notes of environment, one of the things again that appeared to be good in this trailer was that the environments seem to be living. For example, we see some kind of track slash mechanical vehicle ramming a container. Hopefully, the game will be packed with this sort of stuff. Necromunda is a hive sitter, and we know hive cities have billions of souls within it. So it would only be right to experience this type of stuff. I want to see people living in like the random and dark places. I want to get the vibe that this place is a living sitter. I really don't don't want that space hulk vibe of feeling mostly alone and then you know a bunch of nids pop up and then you kill them all and then you're all alone again now from the fact sheet it says here that the game will have endless weapons and augment customization we saw a few of these in the trailer again it seems that the bounty hunter's main gun of choice is his auto gun but we did get to see some kind of big green ball shooting energy weapon i completely have no idea what that is a good old-fashioned double barrel shotgun for when you really want to purge up close and personal a revolver and also a combat knife we do have a grenade dropped by an npc when it's killed and it's highlighting green which to me confirms that we can loot weapons and ammo and use it as we purge in the missions we're sent on also execution kills we see a few of these in the trailer very bloody and gory as you would expect i wonder if this game is going to be like space marine where if you execute someone you get a portion of your life back but i think it may work closer to what they did in doom rather than space marine because from the gameplay and the vibe i'm getting from this game it seems to be closer to that doom fast-paced f FPS action. Anyway, Chaperunios, that's enough rambling from me. Thank you for watching my breakdown. Did you see something that I missed? If so, post it down below and we can have a nice little talk about it. What are you most looking forward to to this game? Are you actually looking forward to it? Are you going to avoid this? Are you going to be buying it? Let me know it down in the comment section and we can have a nice little talk down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.